You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Junos Packet Capture Utility, which is used to capture network traffic over Juniper devices in real time, and it's used to analyze and troubleshoot network traffic. To start implementing Juniper SRS Packet Capture Utility, let's first review the topology on which we will capture the traffic. There are two virtual SRX devices connected to each other through Giga Ethernet 000 interface with the IP address subnet 10.10.10 S-24. Loopback interfaces connected to virtual SRX 1 and virtual SRX 2 have the IP address of 172.16.11 and 21.24. Routing between these two devices is already configured in the previous sections and loopback interfaces are reachable over Giga Ethernet 000 interface. In this example, we want to configure a packet capture example to capture ICMP traffic from the source of 172.16.1.1 to the destination 172.16.2.1 unidirectionally. No other traffic will be captured. How packet capture is configured in Juniper devices? The first step is to enable packet capture and configure the capture output to be written to a file. I choose the file name capture1 to save the capture result. Then we write a firewall filter to match the traffic that we are going to capture here. We will match ICMP traffic from the source 172.16.1.1 to the destination 172.16.2.1 from the virtual SRX1 loopback interface to the virtual SRX2 loopback interface. The action of the traffic will be sample instead of accept or discard that we have configured in the previous sections. Sample here means to capture the matching traffic. Here I enable also to count the number of match traffic in addition to packet capture feature. And in the last step, we will apply the firewall filter to the interface. In this example, we will apply it to Giga Ethernet 000 in virtual SRX2 device. We don't have to forget to disable the packet capture when we don't need it anymore. The easiest way is to disable packet capture in forwarding option. Now let's copy and commit the configuration in virtual SRX2. Copy. Copy the configuration in virtual SRX2 and then commit. To check the configuration result, I will ping between these two loopback IP addresses from virtual SRX1 ping 172.16.2.1 with the source of 172.16.1.1 3, 4 and 5 packet and I will also ping the loopback address of virtual SX2 without source address to make sure that is not captured because it's not matched with our firewall filter the capture result will be stored in slash var slash temp directory. Let's check it. Run file list slash var slash temp directory. As you can see, the name of capture one, giga tennis 000. The name of interface is automatically added to the name that I have configured for the capture file. Before checking the content of the file, we don't forget to disable the packet capture as I've already explained with the command set forwarding options packet capture and then disable and then commit. To see the content of the file, I will copy it to the Windows machine to check it with Wireshark software with the command run file copy slash var slash temp and then capture one to the SCP 
with the username Majid and then at sign the IP address of the machine and then home a slash Majid with the password it is copied and then I can open the file here download and open it with Wireshark file open and then capture as you can see unidirectional ICMP traffic from 172.16.1.1 to 172.16.2.1 and ICMP ping request there is no reply here is captured to show also the number of packet mesh and captured we can check with the show firewall command run show firewall as you can see five packets are captured and matched with our traffic in firewall filter.